Now we're, we're at a little different place on Broadway. We're on the Upper West Side. This is considered the kind of um, professional area. There are a lot of families. Um, there are people from uh, lots of backgrounds, well-educated people. You're a chef? Yes, I am. All right. Denise. Yes, Denise. Denise, I'm going to ask you a basic question. Would you prefer to see foods labeled based on how they're grown, organic or genetically modified? Absolutely. Why? Because it gives me a choice what I want to put inside my body. All right. If I choose not to have anything with chemicals, I'd like to see that label. Would you eat genetically engineered? Absolutely not. Why not? Because it's never been proven if it's, if it's healthy. It's, it hasn't been tested, so why should I put it in my body? Natural is good. But the USDA and the FDA says that they are equivalent. Therefore, you should have no concerns. Organic and genetically modified are virtually the same. Would you challenge the FDA and the USDA? I absolutely do challenge them. Why? Because I choose to put what I want in my body. I want what's safe, what's natural, what's organic. And that's what I choose to put in my body and I feel it should be labeled. Is this is how you eat? Yes, absolutely, every single day. All right, do you have children? Yes. All right, and how do you feed your children? My children get, eat the same thing that I eat, anything that's not genetically modified and anything that's organic. So you eat only organic and not genetically modified? That's correct. Are, are you a vegetarian? Yes, I am. Are you a vegan? Yes, I am. Okay. And your husband? Um, he's on his way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's trying. Good. But, uh, Do you yeah. feel it's made a difference in your health? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. How would you know? Well, I had a son that was autistic, and now he's not. So. And you feel this is a part of what helped him? Yes, absolutely. A major Good. part. You, you look like you're in your... Late 20s, early 30s. How old are you? I'm 52. 52? <laughs> yes. You in good shape? Yes, I run, I run marathons. Marathons? Yes. All right. So you're a marathon running, very healthy yes. parent and individual, still trying to convince your husband to make better choices? Yes. <laughs> All right. So I'm assuming then that you read up on this? Absolutely, yes. All right. I'm all informed and I read a lot about what makes us healthy. Did you used to eat hot dogs, hamburgers, french fries, colas, coffee? I did. You yes. did? Yes. yes. All right. You don't do that today? No. I was very fat and very unhealthy, and today I'm very healthy. Oh, good. And how long have you been a chef? Uh, for about two years now. What did you do before then? A uh, police officer. For how many years? For 20 years. Oh, you're retired? I'm retired. And your husband? <laughs> Same thing, police officer retired. All right. You know, most police officers don't eat healthy. No. <laughs> <laughs> and when you do eat healthy, they look at you like, what's the matter with you? <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you. I appreciate you sharing You're that with us, Denise. Welcome. Maya, yes. if you had a choice of seeing all the foods in a restaurant or in a supermarket, health food store, labeled, would you prefer they be labeled to their source of either organic or genetically engineered? Um, or no labels at all? In a restaurant? Well, normally in a restaurant when you eat out, there aren't, they aren't labeled. But in a store, yeah, definitely labeled. Um, is that what you mean? Yeah. Okay. Um, I don't... I guess it... I don't know. I don't have the right answer for that. Probably I'd want to know if there were... Uh, Would you want to know if your food the wheat in your bread, the corn, the soy, was genetically engineered by taking a virus from here and matching it with something over here, what they call frankenfoods. Would you want to know if you're eating that or not? Yeah, definitely. All right. Would you buy it? Would you um, probably not, no. Would you buy organic? Yeah. Why? Um, well, I know that organic is less uh, pesticides and um, you know there has to be a certain certification for how you grow organically and it's just it improves the um, way you're growing it makes you more conscious and you know I think that 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 uh, it just becomes a higher consciousness of what you're making how old are you 25 all right 
Do you find your generation is, or at least a segment of your generation, is more conscious of choices you're making in food? I think my generation is um, more um, aware to what other people are making conscious. You know what I mean? Like, the, um, I was talking the other night about people eating gluten-free and how that's become very trendy and everybody's gluten-free now. But it's not necessarily that they have a gluten allergy. It's just because that's what's become popular. Uh, so I think that I think that my generation is easily swayed by what people say is better for you, you know? All right. But still, your generation is the consuming the most animal products, hot dogs, hamburgers, french fries, junk food, sugar, soft drinks in American history. Uh-huh. I'm not. I'm vegan. You're vegan? I am. Good. Do you feel different? I do. Did you ever eat the junk foods? I sure did. And what was the difference? Um, well, I, I became vegan because I uh, got very sick from eating dairy and animal products. So I, it was a health choice more than a moral choice, which I guess eventually becomes a moral choice the longer you're a part of it. But So would you go back to eating dairy and junk foods? Um, I, no, because I got too sick. So I can't. Are you sick now? No. So you're healthy now? I am healthy. Do you think you've influenced other people in your generation? Um, it's hard to say. I know that um, I have friends that aren't vegan, but when they eat with me, they'll eat vegan. But I don't know if that's it, that's an everyday choice for them. But definitely when they're with me, they're more conscious about So it. You, you seek out vegan restaurants? We have a vegan restaurant right here? Yeah, definitely. Do you find most of the people eating in these restaurants younger, middle-aged, or older? Um, this one's very... Um, hard to say exactly. I feel like there's a good mix in this restaurant, definitely. Um, I think that... At 82nd in Amsterdam, it's almost 90% young people. Okay. Um, I haven't been around this area that much, so I don't know. But this restaurant, we have a good mix. We have families, we have older, older guests, we have younger guests. We had somebody that came in last night for dinner, and they were... Um, there was a nine-year-old celebrating her birthday, and she was vegan. So there's definitely a big mix of guests that we have that that have that lifestyle, vegan sure. lifestyle. Something we're seeing more and more of in major cities like New York and Los Angeles, Chicago and South Beach are restaurants like this, Organic Cuisine, Candle Cafe West. There are, I think, three of these Candle Cafes in New York City. And they're packed. They're beautiful ambiance, great cuisines. Now, I've spoken with hundreds of people and they say they intentionally go to a place like this because they want organic. They don't want genetically engineered. They want healthy food, they want locally grown, and they want it beautifully presented. They're getting all that in these. These are growing phenomenally. Now, just in this area where we're at now, one block over here is Mana Cafe, Ozu Cafe. Uh, we have seven vegan organic cafes within six blocks on the Upper West Side of Manhattan. If we went down in the village, we'd have double that number. Ten years ago, you might have had two or three, not now. So when you have thousands of people a week going into just one restaurant and you have at least 50 of these restaurants, it's because people's consciousness is being raised. Summarizing what we've learned today, at the Farmer's Market at Union Square, Manhattan, the Upper West Side, where we're at now, and Columbia University, right outside the gates and across the street from Barnard College, virtually everyone we've spoken to, they want organic, they don't want genetically engineered, but they want to see if the genetically engineered is there, it should be labeled.